guys for today's episode. We are doing the Pro Ride Clinic and I'm bringing you along for the day. I'm running behind, we're about to head up the trail, um, so I'll fill you in as the day progresses. So we're just getting into the good stuff where we're gonna leave the road. I'm gonna take the guys up in here. So everyone here has been to an advanced clinic before. That's a prerequisite to come to the Pro Ride. So they're all rippers and they're here to shred and kind of go over some stuff that um, isn't normally taught in an advanced clinic, covering more of like the athlete side of uh, snowmobiling. All right, so we're gonna leave the trail here. We don't necessarily have to go up and over, but I'm gonna see if I can get a line up and over. And if you wanna follow and do some gnarly stuff, it'll be up there. When we're done ripping that, we'll come back here, cross over the draw and go up the other side. So this is kind of just a play zone with some super tech gnarly trees and cliffs. I don't know, we got, I think going left and up is our best bet because going right kind of hits you. Yeah, it gets cliffy and willowy. Yep, I can see that. This is a little tough for a 146 to shoot up, but but maybe right below that rock, there might be a line. Yeah, right there. I see a line right there. Or trying to get that way and then up maybe. Just gonna have to try it and see what happens. There, there was a line too. It, it got thick right there, but. So what was the weird. mistake or what happened, do you think? Well, I got tangled up in the weeds and then kind of lost my balance. Got high sided. Yeah, these are a yeah. bit thick to side hill through. Yeah, the, this of, size isn't bad, but the big ones are. I punched a ski on that hard pillow right there, got high sided, I wasn't leaned into the hill far enough. Mistakes were made. What a stud. Sent his sled down this. Doesn't phase him. Got him unstuck and he's gonna rip it. There's a little chute line right there if you can carry speed from the bottom. Yeah. And there's a line here, but that one takes a lot of momentum. They're all pretty tough. Yeah, no, this is kind of like that one. I wonder if anyone tried going down that way and up. I think that's what would be easier. Yeah. It's way more open. We got this bad sticking point. Nobody's made it through yet. Nice work, Wyatt. Oh! We're, man, 100 yards off the road. We haven't made it very far. I've probably helped with nine stucks already, but we're making progress. This bench is pretty open. We got another open bench below that cliff. In between this rock and that cliff, there's a good bench that I think is going to get us up top. We'll see. High consequence tech riding. Look at your hop over line. <laughs> In between cliffs. This is like a 80 foot drop into the trees. Can't lose a sled there. Don't want to, definitely don't. Want to. Oh. Nice work, dude. Thank you. Someone's about to come through the trees. Chad, there's Chad. He's pretty low, but I think a 155 boost can pull that line up and get right up to where we're at. Oh, damn. Wait, his sled's still going. He's he in that tree. Up. Yeah. That's, he's not gonna be out of that very quick. So close. It looks like he had a good line if he made that one tree. Yeah, yeah. Cody's dropping back in. Chad's stuck right there. Isaac's helping him. Uh oh. Cody might have just got stuck. Yeah, Cody's stuck. So since everyone's down there and stuck, I'm gonna head down there with myself. Go help those guys get unstuck and see if we can at least get one or two guys up into this stuff. Cause if you make it to here, this is super sick. And it's not as tech, still super tech, but it opens up enough that I feel like they can get hopovers and get up to this ledge that I'm chilling on up here. You did it! Third guy up, nice work. That was not the line. <laughs> None of the lines are the line. <laughs> oh, no ski rubber. No ski rubber, no goggles. That's how you no know it's good. No ski rubber. <laughs> I got a spare. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> that would have been a bad spot to slide off backwards. I'm gonna pack my ski line and then side panel drop that and should be good to go. There's Aaron, ripping it. Yeah, dude, sick. Yeah, buddy! Yoo! Oh, oh fuck, oh. holy shit. I lost my balance and would have fell if I didn't grab that tree. I think we give everyone another like 10, 15 minutes to try to make it to the ice and then we regroup at the bottom and head to a different zone. Quick lunch break and then we're gonna go play in the sunny stuff and push up into a zone. Pushing into a new zone. It's just up there. Oh no! There goes an A-arm. Fuck! That day we, I think we wrecked six A-arms. Getting closer. Yeah, it's touching this fucking barely. But I don't know. I think as long as it only hits the coil and the coil doesn't hit the body, it's not an issue. Okay, sleds are good to go. We're gonna keep pushing in even with the broken sleds. I think our patches are good enough to make it through the rest of the day. If they start having issues, we'll take them out. But for now, I think those guys can keep going. Yeah. Let's try to knock one out at least. Let's go. I didn't see any trees shake. No, yeah, like a peacock or something. It's just sitting in the side. Oh, <laughs> he said it's my fault for not teaching him the downhill hop over. It's my time. Ain't God incredible. It's my time. How is his sled still a sled after that? Luckiest man alive. Glad you're good, dude. That was scary as fuck. Uh, we're good. Good thing the snow's soft and it just squished you down, yeah. <laughs> Ideally, you get like quite a bit of angle. Oh yeah, no, I totally missed that. But it's tough with your in-run here because you kind of had to cut up to hit it. Yeah, no. And I, then you got trapped I going up. I did not adjust my momentum to the either, I mean, right. If I would have went left, I think if I would have pulled it tight, I would have been fine, but. Yeah, there's uh, a lot better spots for re-entries around the corner, more open and better pillows. So we'll do that instead of playing with this one anymore. Don't care what you say, it's my time, it's my time.
lot of talent on the mountain right now. <laughs> it takes a lot of talent just to get to the zone, let alone get up here and rip it. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> he stayed on his sled. Nice. <laughs> Why? It's like I'm in the danger zone. <laughs>
think she's good. I think you're okay. <laughs> wow, that's basically vertical right there. Dude, I thought you were gonna do something crazy. That was so it. gnarly. I thought you were gonna like re entry and land over there. Yeah. For a second. That was so close to being so bad. Yeah. That's, there's been a few of those today. Yeah. I think his sled is good. Yeah. It, okay. it was like slow motion almost. Right there too, huh? If you just that's, come this way. That's Brett, a tunnel that and so Cody. Gnarly. <laughs> Please no, don't do that one again. You guys are scaring me a little today. on it nice oh well he didn't stay on it but he rode it out he didn't wreck that was sick <laughs> was that your first flip of the year that was yeah nice why not do it on top of a shoot <laughs> <laughs> did you ride it out yeah i landed and tipped sideways but i never came oh, off the slide <laughs> We just finished up a gnarly session in this zone here. We've got a bunch of shoots in, tons of re-entries, some hopovers, a bunch of bow ties. Uh, and then my favorite line was flipping out of the top of this shoot. So pretty solid session. Um, we've had a few good sessions in this zone. Uh, we're getting towards the end of the day and probably gonna start working our way out here in a few minutes. The guys are killing it. Definitely the highest level group I've ever had on the mountain. Oh, he went into my tree. So close. so close. Oh, I lost my momentum right there. Cody, how did you climb a 10 foot vertical wall? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a lot of speed and a long track. <laughs> nice work. I know, that's fucking crazy. There you Good go. Sick. Glad it stopped. Beauty.
Not exactly clean run out to ghost a sled down there. You know, I, dude, it's got so many different options. You could ghost a sled down it and be fine, Probably. but nobody else. Nobody can ghost ride like me, dude. Well, guys, I think that's the end of the day. I'm ready for some Lindy's. Go get some Lindy's steak and cheesecake. I think that was the last session of the day. Uh, yeah, went good. I got stuck. I would say Cody kind of got the the best line. Well, he's the only one who actually made it out the top without getting stuck. So <laughs> props to Cody on that one. <laughs> Chad and I and Tim all got stuck. Yeah, time to burn some trail and go get dinner. I guess nobody wants to jump the creek right there. Oh, no, he does. So we took a shortcut. Oh. Everyone but one made it. It was kind of icy. It wasn't a gnarly shortcut. It was just so low on snow that it made it yeah, a little hard. There was a couple sections where you're like, like riding across dirt in a tree yeah, well, yeah. and I'm just like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we're almost to the Grim Trail. I could pick you guys up for dinner too. So once the trailer's yeah, backed no in, you don't have to leave it. <laughs> I got that, yeah, on the sled deck. <laughs> That'd be funny. That's legal in Montana. <laughs> yeah. Box? Yeah. I'm not yeah. getting on that sled deck unless y'all super clamp me down. That can be arranged. Both your feet, yeah, lock it in. Right there. Hold the back rack. <laughs> Safety. Not sure I like that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be really vulnerable. <laughs> My ankles. <laughs> I broke both subframes today. Did you really? Yeah. Only got one, so yeah. they're like they're still usable, but so it's a mess right now. Sloppy as shit. <laughs> a little bit. I don't know if I have enough subframes for everyone. <laughs> There's a lot of broken subframes. Back to the groom trail. Where's your visor? Uh, I got in a fight with some trees yesterday. They won, but I cut them down. Just getting going on day two of the pro ride. We rode the ridge in and just did a descent down this hill and waiting for the rest of the group to get through this and then we'll keep pushing in. Uh, seems like the snow's a little bit better in this zone uh, and yeah, everyone's pumped. So should be another good day. We got two more guys down, three more. Making progress. Well, Isaac's here, but we're still three guys short. That's never a good sign. Luke and Brent and Tal. And Tal. Tal's sawing trees down. Three. Three Test guys short. <laughs> that, he told me last night that's how he gets into the flow zone, cutting trees. <laughs> I don't want to have to explain to YouTube what flow zone is. You can't, you can't say that in my videos. It's not what it sounds like, guys. When are we going to get into the tight stuff? I'm trying to find some tight trees for you guys. This is way too open. Your skis fit between the trees. That means yeah, it's too open. Didn't have to cut down any yet. Line. It was going, going, 
I think these willows took away some minimum. Couldn't quite make the hop over in between the trees. So how are we gonna get you out? Lift your back end up and pivot around? I think so. I think she's pretty close actually. Let's see how strong you are. Or how strong I am. <laughs> that wasn't bad at all. Oh, quick work. Yeah, buddy. Kind of been dragging everyone through some tight trees, but now it's opening up into normal tree riding and the day should be getting started and getting going here. Wyatt's close to getting on my line to make it out the top. Nobody else has made it up here yet. Oh, there's Aaron. in here. Nice work, dude. That was sick. You aced that line. That was perfect. Tell was the first one out.
I can't even do regular hop overs. I have to do downhill ones. I don't know what my best line out. Like I, I was looking I, for your line out. I don't know where the fuck you got out. Well, I got out over there. I kind of hit the benches. Oh, because I'm like, if I can get there, one hop over and I'm out. Yeah, you're it's steep as fuck. You already lost it into the trees down there. From here, it looks like you could go right there and up. Yeah, but like it's. You have, you have to make that bench somehow. I think that's kind of the line, like hitting the benches and working your way up the gut. This is too steep, I think. How does it feel to be the only other guy on the top right now? It's great because I have a 9 iron and everybody else has boost. <laughs> <laughs> Sled is not the excuse today. Even the 165 boost hasn't made it out yet. Nice work, dude. That was, that was an awesome line. That's the worst part is turning fucking out and going back down through fucking six foot trenches. So Aaron is almost out, but he's stuck. Tim is almost out, but... Delayed. Slightly delayed. So close. That's the line out right there. Kind of a pinching point right here, though. Like hook up in between that big tree and Aaron. Yeah. There's a track going up there. <laughs> He's doing good. Let's see if he goes out the top or not. I think he's got it. Yeah, Tim, that was sick. Oh, Chad, you finally made it. Finally, dude, the old guy. Fucking slowing the group down. <laughs> Should invite over 40 on the pro ride. <laughs> Age senior limit. <laughs> the senior yeah, ride? The senior ride, yeah, next year I'm coming for the senior ride. No more pro ride. Nice work, boys. We Killing go. it. Well, we tore this one up. The whole group didn't make it out, but most of it did. Now we're gonna go find some fresh stuff to rip. The stuff is like almost vertical. There's a little drop in that line. That's obviously vertical because it's a pillow. This stuff's so steep, snow barely sticks to it. Video does no justice to how messed up this hillside is. I blame your ski. Slowed me down.
of another one. Yeah, I made it before Caleb. I had to lay down a track for him. He's doing pretty good though today. Trying not to hold the group up today. That's yeah. my goal. Isaac lost the bogey wheel on that sled, so we're gonna see if we can limp it to the trail. Um, leave him there and then keep going in. But depends on how that sled does. If it keeps running, we'll keep going in and we'll just let Isaac ride it out. And if not, we'll come up with a different plan. Got it in the tree well. Uh oh. <laughs> that uh oh, that's a deep one. That, I don't know if that could have been any worse. Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> what? What is this? Um, it's the biggest tree well on the mountain. Yeah. So downhill hop over and it just elevated down on into here. I don't think I'm stuck really nothing too bad. I just bogged, so. Yeah, at least you're not upside down. No, no, she's pretty, uh, I wrote it down in nice. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a full snow cave dug out by the time we're done. We got it. That wasn't too bad. No, not bad at all. 10 minutes stuck. We're down to nine. About to lose one more. Good luck, Isaac. <laughs> I'll see you back at the truck. Sounds good. We got him to the trail. It's not like we're leaving him in the middle of nowhere. And if I don't get a text message from him saying he made it out, we're gonna follow the exact same route out. So good, clear communication. He's on the trail. It's mostly road. Trying to split the group up the smart way. Just chaos all the time. Deep hole. <laughs> 
He's familiar with pillows. Kind of looks like guys are getting tired. the crap out of this zone and now we're gonna punch up the gut of this and see what's up there These guys are shredding but it does look like they're starting to get a little tired seeing more mistakes and more stuff starting to happen myself included tree wells for the weekend conservative estimate would be 20 <laughs> 20 tree wells i'm used to snow being in them you know i'm in colorado so normally like skinny grips you slide like down into them OBIs. and you just yeah. pin your way out i don't know after riding here they just Canada fucking fans. dirt down beneath i like the bars yeah. on these more All trail out now. <laughs> <laughs> 